Au cours de cette vidéo, nous allons voir les éléments constitutifs. With this video, I'm going to show you the uh, elements constituting a power windmill and the uh, shutdown systems and the production systems. We will conclude with a urban project and we will discuss the acoustic impact of uh, windmills. Windmills are made of a tower in average uh, between 50 and 100 meters, sometimes more for very large windmills, above which we find an nacelle on which a rotor is mounted with a number of blades. Most uh, windmills uh, have three blades. The blades are either fixed or mobile around the axis. They rotate around the axis. On the right-hand side picture, we see that the rotor will capture the kinetic energy of the wind to turn it into a mechanical energy, and the mechanical energy will be sent to a gearbox. Why a gearbox? Because the rotor rotates at approximately 20 to 30 revolutions per minute, and at the output of the gearbox, the speed will be 1,500 gears per minute which is uh, compatible with the asynchronous uh, generator, which turns the mechanical energy into electrical power. The nacelle has uh, sensors mounted on it. One is a weather vane that indicates the wind's direction so that the rotor will be placed, positioned perpendicular to the wind. The nacelle will rotate with hydraulic motors. It will swing. We also have a wind gauge that measures the wind velocity to regulate the blade position to regulate the power. If necessary, the blades will be feathered to slow down or stop the uh, windmill if there is too much wind. Small blades, small windmills with small blades uh, do not have this kind of system. They will be regulated by a stalling system, aerodynamic stalling. The blade is uh, made in such a way that above a certain wind velocity, uh, lift will decrease and this will decrease uh, revolution speed. If the wind is very strong, the small air mill will either pitch laterally or horizontally uh, simply to decrease the contact with the wind. And this is also what happens with American windmills. Now, the uh, shutdown systems are of two types. Windmills will be stopped if there is too much wind, more than 25 meters per second. Most uh, windmills will be feathered. And if there is an electrical power supply problem, or also if there are too many vibrations. There are two types of braking systems. If a big rotor is uh, rotating, it cannot be slowed down with mechanical brakes. Aerodynamic brakes are used. The blade will swing for those that can swing. And by uh, increasing the stalling angle to 0.90 degrees, the rotor slows down. And at 90 degrees, the uh, blades will be feathered and the windmill will stop. For fixed blades, it is the tip of the blade that will turn in order to slow down the uh, windmill. When the windmill stops, there are big disc brakes that will keep the windmill in place and will prevent it from restarting, especially when technicians are in the cell for maintenance work. To produce electrical power, generators are needed. There are two categories of uh, generators. Uh, there are windmills using asynchronous generators uh, with a gearbox between the rotor and the generator. The gearbox is a mechanical system with gearings with a very low yield, and it obviously takes power away from the final yield. The system also very often breaks down and causes problems. The new generation windmills are equipped with a synchronous generator with direct drive. Here on the top picture, you see that the generator is directly connected with the rotor. It is behind the rotor. Immediately, there is no more gearbox in between. We see pictures now showing the generators. And you can uh, tell the difference uh, when you see them. The, in the old uh, generation uh, windmills, the nacelle was uh, rectangularly shaped, whereas now the nacelle is is more egg-shaped, a bit like a rugby ball. In order to uh, have an order of magnitude of uh, the size, you can compare with the size of the 
maintenance worker up in the nacelle. Regardless of the type of generator, the uh, current is an alternate triphase variable frequency current. When the windmill starts, the frequency will change depending on the rotor rotating speed. It is impossible to connect the signal on the uh, grid where the frequency is fixed. It is necessary, therefore, to go through a DC bus so that the uh, current will be rectified with specific systems, rectifiers, in order to supply a continuous voltage. And from the continuous voltage, an alternate current with fixed frequency will be produced thanks to inverters. It is therefore possible to connect directly to the grid. This is the most frequently used technique, and the rotor is uh, rotating in freewheel in order to obtain the maximum uh, power from the wind. The machines currently used are synchronous machines or permanent uh, magnet uh, motors, brushlet, br brushless motors. They use uh, magnets that uh, rotate in front of a coil. There are two categories, so in the magnetic field is category to the rotating uh, axis, we're talking about a radial machine, a cylindrical machine, and when the magnetic field is parallel to the rotating axis, we talk about uh, discoid uh, axial machines. The picture in the middle shows you the elements that are fixed inside the rotor on which the blades are mounted, and the magnets rotate uh, and go in front of the coil attached to the stator. These motors are the type of motors used for electrical bicycles, for instance. These brushless motors are reversible, and energy can be recovered uh, when driving the bicycle downhill, and the motor becomes a generator. On the right-hand side, we see the generator directly mounted on the rotor. This is a direct drive system. In order to obtain a continuous voltage, either diode rectifiers are used or possibly also PMW, post with modulation systems are used. With a rotor of uh, 30 meters, we can achieve a power of 30 kilowatts. When we increase the area of the rotors, uh, 46 to even 125 meters, obviously the power accordingly increases. With a 125 uh, meter rotor, the generator will release five megawatts. The nacelle is therefore very high more than 150 meters above ground. Underneath, you have a picture showing four windmills of 600 kilowatts and four with 1.3 megawatts of power, enough to supply uh, power to a uh, small town with 7,000 inhabitants. The next picture shows an offshore windmill, a very big windmill, more than 125 meters in diameter, producing 5 megawatts approximately. Now, the tower is uh, barely uh, longer than the blade, because in the s at sea, uh, regardless of the altitude, the wind uh, speed will be the same, so it is not necessarily to bring themselves very high at high altitude. How many houses can uh, we supply with uh, windmills? With a 10 kilowatt windmill, we have enough power for one house. With a 500 kilowatt windmill, we have enough power for 100 or 150 houses. And with, with 1.6 megawatts, we can uh, supply between 400 and 500 houses. Let us look now at an urban project not connected with the grid. The energy must be stored in a battery. The signal, the current is a triphase current that must be rectified to charge the battery. And from the continuous current, an inverter allows to uh, generate an alternate uh, current, 50 hertz frequency, compatible with all kinds of uh, household appliances. Here we have a one meter windmill that produces uh, between 400 and 600 watts at a wind of 45 kilometers per hour. If the site is connected with the grid, the energy recovered by the windmill will be directly will first be uh, rectified uh, and uh, sent through a DC bus and then injected into the electric grid. And when the windmill does not rotate, the user can take power from the normal 
power grid. This is the reason why there are two different uh, electrical power counters. Here we have a windmill that produces between 1.8 and 2.4 kilowatts at 40 kilometers per hour with a slightly bigger rotor, almost four meters in diameter. Now, what about the noise generated by windmills? On the left-hand side graph, we see a scale between 0 and 150 decibels. 0 decibel is uh, the uh, audibility threshold. 150 is the threshold for pain. A windmill generates uh, acoustic intensity uh, at 350 meters, approximately 40 to 50 decibels. On the map, acoustic map on the right hand side, we see a line of windmills and uh, above the windmill we have uh, a red spot where the uh, sound level is between 50 and 60 decibels and as we move away from the wind turbine, turbine the noise level decreases and uh, progressively we have an area in green where noise level is 40 to 50 decibels.